two, one. What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We have Edeception, one of the best, Team Jobber's own, versus Adam Barron. We saw Adam top four our last tournament with Water, and everyone thought he might go all the way. And he's only been playing Water in this tournament. So, uh, it should be a pretty good match so far. Ed has only played Cyframe and Klee in this tournament. And it's been mostly Klee from him. And he wins the RPS. And I expect to see him actually try to go... Oh, no. Yeah, he's going first, so it's likely Klee again. But does he know that water's coming? <laughs> Oh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. <laughs> How is the Clean Water match? I don't think that's a match I've ever seen. I mean, Rivalry is a is a strong card, but it doesn't work against either. Oh, <laughs> Cyber <laughs> Dragon Dre, he was right. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he's so he's gonna make an Infinity here. That's pretty good. That's a very strong, t like, main deck core against Cosmo and stuff, too, to show off. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> what a start to this one. Man, this play would be, be so hurt by Maxi on that instant fusion, huh? That would have yeah, been yeah, one, definitely, definitely. two, three. And we've only got two back rows with this infinity. I feel this actually isn't that strong. Well, it's not that strong because every other deck does like so much more. So him being at four cards when like infinity turns or like for Cosmos are like eight, nine cards on the field or yeah. cards field in hand. And then other decks are like, well, Monarch stuff has got all this stuff going on before they even tribute summon. So. Infinity is still strong because it can negate a card, but it doesn't. It doesn't look strong on like on the field right now because he's got so low amount. He's got a very little amount of cards. Yeah, I would have to say like, and against water of all things, like you can shut down the special summon of one, but then there's like chain links and this could go. I don't know. Negating a megalo could be big. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But, like, the, a simple discard of, like, an infantry. Oh, we have Dragon's Ravine. So he... Ch Adam changed it up as well. It looks like both duelists didn't want to be scouted. I guess Dank Law is playing... Um, He could be playing the uh, Dragonity Blue Eyes deck because of Clear Wing. Crystal Wing, I mean. Yeah. Crystal Wing is the all-powerful type of card. We yeah. actually... I, I uh, did a profile on... Uh, on a deck that played quick draw in Monarchs today that makes clear wing. I saw, I saw, it was next level. And there's a twin twister. Play. Yeah. So this looks like an actual cyber dragon deck. Yeah, I saw that he discarded the, the core search or whatever. Is this Mike Clazel's two infinity and beyond? <laughs> Could be. I do like though that um, the Monarch deck. I've been watching some people play it, and it's it's really interesting. I saw some dude playing like Junk Synchron in it. They're testing like because you can get back Eddie, I guess, and then yeah, Synchron. that was in there as well. Yeah, and you can do it, and, the and you can also turn it into a six and Beatrice or like M seven or something, right? Yeah, it's been crazy. It's been looking crazy. Yeah, the innovation in this game's insane. Brilliant Fusion is an all-time card, though. This turn literally ended. So I wonder if he's playing the Dragonity. Because the Dragonity version of... Um... Ooh. So this is actually going to get effect for once. Yeah. Uh, do you think these players agreed to play some sillier decks? Like, they're like, not none of this, 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 and this. Cause. I'm pretty sure Ed. I'm pretty sure Ed doesn't care what event he's in. He'll play something either highly retarded on paper, or he'll just like running. You'll just see him play like, like some actual good deck that's like underrated. Yeah. So Klee became meta, and he had to move on, huh, Ed? Yeah. Is that how it is, Ed?
So we could see phalanx, we could see a, 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 a stone. I have to do something real quick, stream. Sorry. Hey, stream. What up, what up? So this Infinity hasn't had a negate much, and it's gonna probably hit this instant fusion, or whatever the instant fusion brings out. In fact, in fact. This is round six, my gosh. Yeah, and uh, a scoop up. I would like to state that Ed, in every feature match, has surprised us with some weird deck. Every single. For real, I, I feel like if Adam had stuck to water, that would have been a lot better of a matchup. It seemed like a lot of cards that Infinity got a lot more advantage on. Yeah. I improved the Blue Eyes deck to have a better matchup along the board, but more so against Monarchs, because the Cosmo match is, like, already tough. But it got better just because of Crystal Wing. So both these duels were trying to go first, and now we're going to see uh, Denkwa 420, Adam Baron get to So he's pop definitely off. playing, um, I guess, Turbo Dragoonity or Turbo... I call it Turbo Crystal Wing, because that's actually the only level 8 that you ever want to go into besides uh, like Omega or Scarlet for like damage. And this Dux is being not maxi. So we, so we also get see Dirge here. So we get Vadriana, bring back and Synchro. If his, if his hand could have did more we could have seen um, uh, the, the gay dirge to dump the Zephyros. That way he could do more stuff. Whoa! What is going on here? So he's going to make a Beatrice or a, a Tum here. This is like a way different pop-off than I expected. So he can bounce the ravine and get it again, huh? Yeah. A tomb! It's been so long since I've seen this card summoned. See, I was playing a version like this, but I was playing Brilliant Fusion, because if you open Brilliant Fusion and Terraforming, then that like almost guarantees that you get like this field, because the Brilliant Fusion will dump a light, which should be like a, a, um, a stone. Um, either the blue eyes, uh, well, Stone of Legend or the new stone or whatever that came out. And then you summon the Seraphonite and then you can do your Ving. You can discard any card in your hand to search for the ducks and then um Yo like, but baby rock, so now we have Oh man, he's doing it all. Yeah, and now we have Zephro. He he's still going. He was like, nah Max C fam? Ooh. And he gets the red eyes darkness to hand. Jeez. That's crazy. Now what's he bothered to get back here? Um, really, I would feel you want to make another synchro. Like that's why I feel like this deck has it has to do something else besides this because <clears throat> ending with Crystal Wing is like super good. Like in itself is like the best standalone eight, but it's like not ge it's not generic enough. So I feel like you should always be able to do something else to put next to it. Otherwise, then if they just hit you with some mass removal, then you can't do anything. See, that's why he had to do that so he could keep going. He could make another Patrick Arnold so he could keep doing the combo. Wait, did he? He just got back the. He's special failings, so he could sync okay. up for another Vajrayana. 
Nice. So here I would make, like, start a spark dragon. Because now you have, like, a negate, and you have a protect for any monster on your side of the field. Especially a 3,000 monster. Yeah. Nope, double clear. But instead he just has the two monster effects for better. And he's What's pushing 8,800 on board. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Crystal Wing can attack over anything in the game, basically. Do it now! Like, what's he even worried about now? Uh, mass removal. Yeah, but... One Kaiju doesn't do it. A Slumber, of course, would. A slum, any slumber, dark hole. If he plays any of those cards, I just really feel bad for this fuel. <laughs> Ed says I'm slow rolling it. That's a mandatory effect. I know it has some grave thing. Negate. And does the negation destroy? Yep. So... sure if, if cyber dragons are just like spells that are just gonna constantly I have enough spells that can just constantly like get through this but you know we'll see we'll see well at this point like even overlaying there's no five rank five overlay that gets you out of this huh yeah I don't think there's a five that can get you out of this Dogs outside, man. Savage. Locked all over. These dogs won't shut up. And there's the regular Cyber Dragon. In fact, in fact. It's funny how I was just playing my dragon. I was testing my dragon deck that does the same thing, but it ends with Spark, uh, uh, the Spirit, Blue Eyes Dragon, and the Crystal Wing. Or it can end with Crystal Wing, um, Stardust Warrior, and something else. Now, how does uh, Adam's deck here take care of back row? And there goes a Lance. Uh, well, most, that card is so good. Yeah, most of... Uh, Adam's deck can basically just force back up by just attacking into it. And his deck can also have has like synergy worth making like sixes and eights. So he can make stuff like uh, Harbinger or whatever, or Felgren. Yeah, but uh, a Mirror Force card would be really bad oh, for yeah, him. Mirror, a Mirror Force it. here would, would definitely just be crazy. That's what I'm saying. If Ed had any quaking mirror forces or rippling sighted, like, it could be really bad. And this is why I thought the double clear wing was kind of stupid because, like, Spark Dragon just saves him from, like, mass removal. And that's what this deck actually loses to if it, like, if it can't do anything else, it just loses to mass removal. I, I get, can negate as many mass effect as it, as it wants, but the spell card Ooh, still, there's like, something. Blood fields. He can pop Scrap Dragon itself and get it back with Red Eyes and pop it again, right? Oh. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
I would call that pretty, pretty good. Wow, and there's the scoop phase, and we've got a game three. We do. Looks like he's playing just straight to gun it is uh I also think that's not as good because when you normally something gets stopped in that deck it actually is just over. There's no way to just keep going. Oh man. We always like to take this time to thank trollandtoad.com. Without them, these tournaments wouldn't be possible. The prizes are in their store credit, so it's pretty awesome to have them. Yes, yes. And, uh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> Your Skype's breaking up just a little. Oh, mine's so mine. Yeah. Is it better? Yeah, yeah, that sounds better. Okay, okay, so we... We have... And going first, because obviously double Crystal Wing Synchro is not what you want to be faced with on turn one. Let's see what Foolish can do here. So he's gonna be able to get a search here, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's a special summon, so... Oh, we got Maxi finally! Finally one of these two players is able to punish the other. But you could almost... Depending on uh, Ed's hand, he could just stop. He cannot banish that unless his opponent controls a monster. Yet it's Ed! Ed! Ed can't do that. Ed can't do that. Ed can't do that. Can't do what? Ed, in fact, he can't banish the core to special summon the Cyber Dragon from his deck. Why? At all. He foolish it. Because his opponent doesn't control a monster. Uh, his opponent doesn't control a monster. His opponent doesn't control a monster. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's going back. Well, that's awkward. It also tells him that Adam has Max C. Oh man, so much information. <laughs> oh my god, Ed, come on, Ed, <laughs> come on, Ed. Well, the instant fusion's going back, and this is a minus one. I was trying to hurry up before, um...
Literally, I saw. Oh, so he's still gonna be able to do this, he's and he's still, still gonna get max speed. This max speed will still happen, and I guess is. Hey, thanks for that follow. Four, six, seven cards to a lone infinity and a oh man, heads in a pinch. So, Aaron. Adam, my bad. He's uh, playing Twin Twister. He's just twin through back row, and then his play will just, in fact, start under an infinity and one card in hand. Yeah, this is a lot of cards. But his deck still has to be so reliant on the And normal. there's the infinity negate already. Well, I guess his normal summon is actually safe then. Unless yeah. it's strike. There's a lot of, there's only two cards, two, two card combination that could have like let Ed stay in this game. And that'd be him drawing infinity plus strike, I guess, but we'll see. So here comes Dragon Ravine. Pitching, I haven't seen that one in a while. So this is like pure Dragonity Dragons. Yeah, he's playing definitely pure. I think that card isn't that good, but I guess if you're playing pure Dragonity, you kind of have to do the thing. He ravines a ravine? Yeah, he terraform him to play a ravine. Oh, okay. Again. He just needs to like, needs his stuff to go through continuously. So we will see in fact, if this, is a solemn or not and if it is a solemn then uh it definitely has another turn to push in more more cards more damage and stuff put more cards on the field well i mean if it is a solemn uh a you're still gonna try to clear this infinity and then b uh that core and grave is still there to re activate in special and then there's a cyber dragon too like Mm. Yeah, but then he can't summon that cyber dragon from hand, or no, he he put that back. That was what he, he got with core. So we don't know the in hand, right? No, we we don't know. Basically, he used a couple cards to just Whoa. do like. Whoa. <clears throat> we got tricks going on, and I thought tricks were for kids. So I guess he has uh, the Garuda in hand. <laughs> Does this remind you of YCS and Mateo? Yeah, again, if the back row is some kind of mirror force, I'd, uh, I'd could be okay as well. And here we go, Heretic. If he, in fact, has hit, like, striked or stopped that, like, atonement at any point, it was just literally going to be just, like, rough. That was, that was just going to be, like, a really, really strong... Okay. He could still, still, in fact, like special Garuda and then bounce 
ravine or whatever with um, Zephyros and then keep going, but. Now we're just hoping, and I was just hoping it's not a battle trap. Or it doesn't now care. Now he's going to take care of it, yeah. <clears throat> so he's going to pop the red eyes? Oh, no. Just that. Okay. So he's going to keep it on board as a threat. No, because he has Zephyros. He has Zephyros. Oh, it was called the Haunted. Jeez. He has Zephyros. So he's going to use the red MD to get bounced by Zephyros and then banish special. Yeah, I didn't see him since Zephyros. Make a crystal wing, I guess, and then attack for a game because it'd be. The, the crystal wing will gain the attack. So. Oh, jeez. Zephyros' synergy in this deck's insane. Zephyros is next. And an instant fusion. Instant fusion, my gosh, this dude. Why is he doing know. it before? Oh, he's playing Marvelous. Shikra. Yeah, they have to they have to play that too, that too. They in fact too. That is game. And the system down, geez. <laughs> the insult to injury. Well, Scrap Dragon is indeed a dragon and not a machine, so. It's happy birthday, Ed. Happy birthday, Ed. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy, have a good day, Ed. Yeah, I hope this doesn't put any kind of damper on your night plans. I assume it wouldn't. You're still in this Look. tournament. You're still 5-1. You've still got next round. Oh, play man. a real deck next round, Ed. I'll pay for your, pay for your drinks or whatever. Oh. All right. Out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>